What's up, mother truckers? It's here, Sea Dog, and you're watching Miller Time Motorsports, where dirt meets rubber. And it is finally time for the motor to come out of the race car. This is my bench I'm building. Uh, <laughs> it's it's a work in progress. We don't, as you can see here, uh, not a whole lot of room in this piece of crap shed, and I don't have any space to really, I mean, nowhere to put parts and stuff whenever I'm working on this turd. So I started building this. Uh, my parents are building a house at the moment, and I went into their, um, the people that are building the house, they had a um, big dumpster full of wood, and the mud it was good wood, so I took it. We, I got a whole truckload of this stuff. I got all kinds of stuff, plywood, everything. So I just used scraps, ran out of two by fours. <laughs> you can see this, I kind of put two by fours together there, and then I uh, patched them up. So hopefully that holds all right. I mean, <laughs> it's not great, but I mean, I don't plan on putting just crazy amount of weight on it. So it's gonna work for now. Eventually I'll just, I mean, if I, I'll just go buy two by fours and redo that. But I am no um, uh, woodworker, that is for sure. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get this built and then, oh, look at this bad mamma jamma. This is Casey's new truck. Don't know why he wanted to S10 so bad, but there it is. He's selling his, his green truck. He's keeping that truck over there. He's selling the green truck and he bought this. So it's a turd. <laughs> it's a 93, I want to say, manual, five speed. He wants it to haul his dirt bike in it and he wants something better on gas. So he got this turd. It's got a 4.3 in it. She's pretty much a beast. She sounds really good, actually. Uh, in case you have to make a video on all that, maybe. I don't know. If uh, anyone follows the whole dirt bikes, saga with Casey. Casey makes the dirt bike videos. He raced last weekend and it was probably the last race he's going to race this year. And uh about 10 minutes into the the race, he blew his bike up. So uh he is not very happy about that. He'll be making a video on that. He already started the video, so hopefully we'll get that posted. But uh, not not sure what's wrong with it. He said he he adjusted the valves on it and I think he messed up with the timing chain. It sounds like the timing chain flew off and whatnot so he hasn't even cracked into it so hopefully he'll get that done but anyway it is time i'm gonna build this right quick finish this up and then uh i won't probably won't start working on the motor today but uh in the video we will start pulling that bad boy apart so i'm going to build that and uh i'll show you boom oh yeah she exceeded my expectations big time she's sturdy and uh she ain't pretty but she is solid so now no more excuses. I can't make excuses anymore. It's time to pull that puppy out of here. It's the next day. Uh, well, it's like two days later. And uh, it's cold. But we're going to get started. Dude, see dog here. I'm under the car. Predict a dick here already. Uh, well, it was the other day I noticed this, but I'm looking at it. And if you guys know from other videos, this motor has got to come that way up, forward. And this is the oil pan right here, that big old thing. And that is the cross member right there. I don't know how well you can see it, but uh, yeah, there's not an inch of movement. But there is on that side, which I'm not sure why, but this side is, I don't know. Either way, it's uh, I don't know how I'm going to get that to work. So I'm either going to have to bring the motor up, which I don't want to do. I really don't want to do that. Or also what I don't want to do is I don't want to uh, trim up this cross member. I don't really want to do that either. That would be a pain in the butt. So I don't know. I haven't did not, have not decided what I'm going to do here, but that is definitely a problem. And I was trying to figure out what oil pan that was because another thing is... The uh, guy I got it off of, he didn't even know... Um, I didn't think of it when I was buying it. I didn't ask him until later. And that's an oversized oil pan, obviously. It's a for made for oval track. And I was looking it up. It's a, I believe it's a Canton. And those are like very high end. I was trying to figure out which one it is because I was changing oil. And I don't know how much oil it takes. There's no dipstick. And they didn't even really know the kit I bought off of. I was asking him. He's like, uh, it's either six or eight. And it's kind of a big difference. So uh, I was trying to figure that out. And that's like a 
like four, almost $500 oil pan. So I really don't want to have to have another oil pan made or something, but I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take some pictures under there and see where it's at right now. I'm going to start taking a bunch of pictures before I start taking it out. But while I'm under there, I might take the, um, the bolts off the flywheel and the vert and get that disconnected while I'm all under there. Go ahead and get that out of the way. And yeah, and then I'll start taking pieces off the top here, take the carb off and everything, and I'll keep you guys informed. I'll try to figure something out. So dudes, it's me, I'm back. And I uh, check this out. See how that's a little crooked. I was like, oh wow, awesome. <laughs> Sorry, got a little dirt. <laughs> <laughs> sick and it's like that on all you can't see them probably but um all of them are that way so that's pretty sick that's a i'd like to say that's a semi-important bolt right there say all of them are but uh also at least i don't have to uh loosen them i guess i guess it's just less work for me heck yeah <laughs> Decided to take the fan trout out, and that was not very fun. That should not have took that much time, and that just, that was not not. I was not happy, but anyway, got it out so I can get in here and get a better look underneath, and get some measurements of how it was to begin with, with the motor mounts and everything. So Draw it under here, and just looking at every the motor mounts and measuring everything where it's already at. So yeah, I haven't got very far today, but. That's all right, I got a while till the season starts. So anyway, I got that apart. I'm probably gonna go get some lunch. It's a real late, I'm eight, I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go get some lunch and uh, get back and we'll actually start pulling apart. Dudes, it's, uh, I'm up back out here and it's uh, colder than it was before, but uh, you go on, try to get warmed up. You know, I'll go ahead and start taking the header bolts apart, take the headers off and Go from there, those are always fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on that and uh, keep you updated. Had to rig me up a lot. I don't know why I didn't do that to begin with uh, because like always, we're gonna have a piece of junk shed and the lights are touch screen, I like to call them. And this one's just not cooperating. Sometimes you hit them a couple times, they come on. And today that one's not working. For some reason earlier, that one came on and that one's never came on, but this one always comes on for some reason it's not working. So anyway, go over to Royal King and get you one of these bad boys. Like 24 bucks. They're pretty sick. Hook you up. And look at that. All the all the light you need. Oh, and by the way, I decided I better take out the sparculators first. Right there, you see that? Start taking them out because uh, last time I took the headers off before I took the spark plugs off, I broke like two of them off. So I decided to actually get a little smart and I took them off. Just gotta get the other side and they'll pull the headers off and that's it. A quick, um, a quick tip for all of you that don't know. You don't know what to do with your old beer cans? Watch this. Grab out your trusty old Gerber. <coughs> Give her a little stab. Then just second. Take her. And you just wrap her all the way around. Like so. And then you got a good place to store your bolts for every kind and you don't lose them. You got a place for your sparculators and you got a place for your header bolts and you won't get them mixed up. So that's perfect. So you just put them right there and you're set. You're not going to believe this. So I got this last year. I got this uh, in a tool set for Christmas. My old man got it for me. A Craftsman tool set. Socket set, I mean. Craftsman. And this thing just locked up. I haven't even had it, had it a year. I literally just, uh, I went to, I put a, a socket on it and literally it's like it's locked up look so here's a 3 8 drive um or 3 8 um wrench and it's literally no matter what i do i play with it whatever i do it's locked up i don't know i don't know what happened it just like this is it looks perfectly fine i'm not like i've left it in a toolbox it hasn't been left out i don't know what the deal is <sighs> 
it's gonna be a good night all right guys i think i'm about to call it a night i didn't work on a whole lot today but i got uh, i got most of it done so pulled the power steering pump off um unbolted the headers got the um sparkulators out um radiator fan tray out all that so i think really all i gotta do now is i'm just gonna do it tomorrow i got another day off tomorrow so i'll just do it tomorrow i'm gonna uh, motor mounts starter um i gotta take the wires off the starter take the carb off um i'm, I'm thinking i'm gonna try to get away with leaving the distributor on there i think i can't see why i can't because especially since i'm not rebuilding or anything and i hate i i am not good at all with setting timing that is i'm just that's something i need to work on i just don't i don't know enough about it and i i, I can get it done but it will take me like a couple hours and like i'm not very good at it. so i'm gonna try to leave the distributor on where it's at and um oh, bell housing bolts they gotta come out and I got to prop up the tranny, and I think that's about it, really. She's about ready to pull out. I like to get me um, one of those fancy uh, um, brackets to bolt on to the top of the intake um, to lift all out. Normally, I just uh, I, I throw a grade 8 bolt through the side of the head on each side and just put a chain on and lift it up. But it would be nice to have one of those. I might go tomorrow. I have to go. I have to run a Spencer tomorrow and i might go there's a performance shot in ellettsville they might have one so i might go try to get one of them that would be nice so i'm gonna get that i think it's ready to pull out other than that i'm gonna try to leave as much on it as i can i mean it's not like i'm re I, i've decided i'm not rebuilding it so as of right now i'm not rebuilding it so i don't really need to take everything apart so i got that take that off put that there huh but uh yeah i haven't decided if i'm going to Make this a two-part video or one. I might just edit this tonight and post it. If not, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and pull it out tomorrow. So I guess you'll know that. But, um, oh, and something else I'm pretty excited about. The motor mounts. I figured out what I'm going to do. So I was on Speedway Motors and I finally found out which motor mounts I'm going to go to. I'll put a, a screenshot of that. I finally found what I'm going to go with. So I'm going to do that. And, yeah, it's looking good. I'm pretty pumped just ready to start racing again it's all i've been thinking about here lately so yeah we're gonna do that and then here eventually gotta put uh control arm bushings in it um i'm thinking actually also on speedway motors they have a kit that has um tubular upper control arms and that comes with ball joints and bushings um and it's like 110 bucks for like both of them. So I was like, man, that is a, the way to go. I don't see why it would be a big performance. Like, I don't think it, it helped me any, but it's just, it'd be nice to use those. Something else, I like to pull these valve covers off because I just have a really good feeling it's got roll rockers. I don't know why it wouldn't have roll rockers. And that is not legal for LPS and um, Paragon. So once I get it out, I'm going to pull the valve covers off and see. I mean, it, it really sucks. If it's got roller rockers, I hate to go down and just get rid of them. But, I mean, it's not legal. And pretty sure uh, when you're racing at the end of a race, if you're doing decent at all, they're going to pull your valve covers. So, um, at least I think so. So, I'm going to look into that. But, yeah, that's about it. This is that's about all I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to call it night. It's starting to get a little dark out. And it's getting chilly. It's getting colder by the second. So, yeah. Um like and subscribe go and leave a comment uh i'm gonna start I, I will reply if you to every comment in the comment section so leave a comment say something ask me questions or whatever i'll just i'll say something so um yeah i guess we'll see you on the next video